Hello everyone, Ebomb113 here with another custom showcase. So this is kind of a throwback episode. Um, these are some older sets that I made um, years ago. Probably back when I was 14 or 15. I'm 24 now, so they're, it's kind of creepy thinking they're almost 10 years old, if that's around the same time I, that I made them. So um, back when I was really into the Clone Wars, and the Clone Wars ended sadly, um, if y'all ever caught that TV show, I pretty much bought all the Lego sets. Anything Clone Wars themed I bought, even to this day, if it's Clone Wars themed, I'll buy it. You know, no second thought whatsoever. So, um, yeah, uh, once the Clone Wars ended, I was kind of like, you know, I'd kind of like to see what happens to, like, you know, Ahsoka and Rex and all these other characters I was interested in. But uh, we never got any conclusion to, because, you know, Disney took over and Clone Wars canceled and, I mean, now... How many years later, they've had a few answers for those characters. But at the time, yeah, I was like, I want to know what happens to those characters. So I just kind of made up my own stuff. So I just kind of had like a little... Um, it was set on... I had this <laughs> probably really bad fan... Fan... Fan theory, fan... You know, fan fiction, pretty much. Of um, this planet that, you know, fought hard during the Clone Wars and then... Um, or its people were subjugated to the Clone Wars, and, you know, since the Empire took over, uh, they had all this Clone Wars era stuff lying around. So they took advantage of it once the Empire started taking foot on Outer Rim Worlds, and it was just a nice little story, different characters. Um, they kind of acted as a Jedi refuge, so they had various Jedi that survived Order 66 come to this planet. Um, so there's just a little backstory behind some of the vehicles or some of the custom vehicles I made for this faction of rebels before they were officially rebels. So, long story short, uh, these are just a few of the sets that I have left from when I had, you know, early Imperial units versus, you know, um, Outer Rim worlds that fought back. So, obviously it didn't end too well. Uh, my story was very dark, and pretty much every character died. But, I mean, you know, I would expect it. Yeah, I tried to make it fit best with my headcanon of Star Wars lore at the time. So, sorry for that little tangent, but just gives a little bit of background behind what these are. So, um, I'll start with the smaller one first. So, I actually introduced Bionicles as a... I called them, like, Bions or something. They're biomechanical beings that were introduced it, into my uh, Star Wars headcanon on this planet, at least. Um, so it was just literally Bionicles in Star Wars. I know it probably sounds really stupid, but I thought it was cool at the time. So, uh, they had a lot of their own cool vehicles. Um, they definitely focused on quality over quantity, so they did pretty well against Imperial units, um, single-handedly, but, you know, as with, we know how Imperial Doctrine is, it's quantity versus quality. So, uh, th these could get easily overrun. Um, so they're, I think I called it a Kordak Chariot. So it was, it was a hover vehicle, like it doesn't have any wheels or treads or legs you know, in the Star Wars universe. It, so it had like a bionicle version of repulsor technology. So it has like these missile launchers on the back. I think those were like repulsor engines right there. And then forward, I guess like tusks. So it was pretty good at ramming, you know, Imperial vehicles, um, taking out legs of walkers or just plowing over you know, legions of stormtroopers, pretty much. Then had a little bionicle figure up there. And I had a few other bionicle-themed, um, pretty much sets set for, you know, this little crossover I did. But, uh, this is one of the only ones that really survived me taking it apart for parts. Um, I'm currently going through all my old Lego sets that I've made. And, um, <laughs> sadly tearing them apart so I can build back the original forms. I know that sounds terrible, but uh, yeah, just a little project I've been wanting to do, and I've been doing it on and off at my mom and dad's um, with all my Lego sets there, just tearing apart all my old sets. And I want to pay a little homage to some of my original, you know, themed storylines I did. Like, it was a continuous storyline. It wasn't just random adventures of characters fighting. It was, you know, it was a pretty consistent story I tried to keep. Um, do I remember any of the beats? Maybe here and there, maybe specific adventures as I called them. But uh, 
yeah, I just wanted to pay a little homage, make a little video before I tore it apart, and put it back to its original form. So I think this is actually part of the chassis of a Technic Quad. Not too sure. Some of the parts look familiar. So I probably kept a lot of the similar build. I just built around it, adding bionicle parts here and there. Just to make it look like a bionicle themed, you know, uh, creation. So that pretty much does it for the Kordak Chariot. My next one was a drop ship. Um, it was just kind of designed as a scrabbled together um, troop transport for my rebels on this planet. I can't remember what the planet was called to save my life, but it was just some planet out in the outer rim that uh, tried its best to fight the Imperial reign, but lost terribly. They put up a good fight, it just wasn't good enough. So this is just a drop ship. Um, actually, got a lot of inspiration for the Halo Reach Falcon. Um, you can probably see a lot of the beats, at least like the, the booming arms. And um, doesn't really have the rotor, rotor or whatever they're called, rotors. Um, instead it has like these little, you know, repulsor engines. So it has three of them. Uh, these two, you know, on each side they can go back and forth. Looking at that, that's really flimsy. I'm kind of ashamed I built it like that. But uh, goes up and goes down. I'm not expecting many people to watch this video, but uh, just like a little memorabilia for me. Um, just think about all the good times I had playing with these versus my uh, clone war or the clones that were newly Imperial clones. Uh, so this was like before stormtroopers started really taking over. It was still the clone military. I guess like establishing order of the Empire. That's kind of like my headcanon of where, what time period this took place in. Um, has same on the other side. Um, I think pivot side to side, show, show it like turning or uh, strafing. Um, as you can see the troop transport bay is not very protected so it's designed to be a quick in and out craft. Um, I mean, they're rebels, they don't have much to deal with. So, you actually got a few different characters in there. Um, I have, like, these special operations troopers of this planet, of, like, the, the planet's military. Um, I think they're just using, like, uh, random parts from LEGO collection. So, you just got, like, a regular commando unit. It has, like, a medieval armor of all things and little helmet. Then I think this guy's from the... Alien Conquest sets. I just use them as a basic trooper. Um, you got an assassin droid in there. Yeah, it's, a, it's a rebel force. It's going to be composed of different uh, characters. Then there were two uh, Bions, as I called them, or Bionicles. And then at the time they had Cad Bane. They hired bounty hunters to help out with their cause too. Uh, just on like specific missions, but I'm not too sure if this is canon, but I think in one Clone Wars clip that wasn't exactly finished, I think it showed Boba Fett killing Cad Bane, so I guess Cad Bane wouldn't be alive post-Order 66. I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Maybe it's explained in Disney canon now, but I'm, I wasn't aware of it at the time. I guess, you know, this was right after the Clone Wars ended and I had this adventure, so, you know, anything that's happened since Disney took over, you know, yeah, yeah, it might be different. So that uh, pretty much does. Oh, I'll show you the front. So it has like these little spikes or um, zip lines, so it can shoot out the zip lines. And then I guess the characters somehow managed to get over on this side, and zip towards whatever they were going towards. So uh, I got a broken piece there. I'll fix it later. Um, I think this is the head is just kind of strapped on. I think it's from an agent set. Yeah, Lego Agents, if anybody remembers those. Um, I think it's from the speedboat. I just attached it on as a cockpit. Um, it has a chin-mounted gun beneath it. And I think I had missiles on it at one time, but I'm not seeing any. Um, I had like a target, laser target system. So, But I think that battery's dead. So, looking at it in re retrospective, it's kind of a poor build. Um, actually broke it on the way, bringing it to my apartment from my mom's house to uh, <laughs> to review it, so luckily I put it back together, but I realize you know, how flimsy some of the build pieces were. I'm sure y'all are familiar with that. So, just a little bit of nostalgia for me. Um, just definitely wanted to get a, you know, a video record of these sets before I tear them apart, just because these two are some of my favorite. 
My other favorite is my Imperial Reaper. I think I already have that one up on my YouTube channel. It doesn't have many views. I'm not, expect, not expecting this one to get many views either. But it's just a little bit of nostalgia for me. Um, my terrible fan, 14 year old fan fiction of what happened after the Clone Wars. Um, I'm sure it was terrible. Like I said, I can't remember every beat of the story, but I just remember it pretty much ends with everyone dying because it's, you know, the Empire versus one single planet. Like I said, they put up a good fight, but uh, they just, you know, wasn't good enough. So, that was rather dark and depressing. So I'll end on a positive note. Tell me what you all think in the comments below. Um, tell me what you think of my 14-year-old building. Uh, now that I'm 24, it's hard to believe that was almost a decade ago I built these. So, I think that pretty much does it. Thank you all for watching.